Hello and welcome to Kaveo Bite Size Learning. Today's topic is the installation of the Kaveo JavaScript search framework into your web server environment. Kaveo Bite Size Learnings are as short as they are sweet, so let's get started. What I've got here on my server is a simple website with an empty webdocs directory. I want to replace that with a search page driven by my Kaveo index. There are several different ways to get started. Starting from the Kaveo website, you can click on support, then choose Get Help. From there, choose Online Help, and scroll down to find the JavaScript search framework. Once that page comes up, expand the Getting Started option in the left navigation bar and click on Downloading. Here, you'll see a couple of options listed. For organizations where developers are comfortable with the Node Package Manager, there are details on how to use that to get the latest version. You can also get it directly from productupdate.caveo.com. For many people, this will be the easiest option. We recommend that you go to productupdate.caveo.com and bookmark it for future use. For demonstration purposes, I will use this option. As you can see, several of our products are available for download there. Simply scroll down and click the download button to get the latest version. Once the package is downloaded, and expanded, you'll see that there are a wide range of files included for development purposes. If you are looking to develop and extend the Coveo JavaScript search framework, you may need all of them, but for most implementations, everything you need is in the bin directory. Even within the bin directory, you will find more than you need. There are over a dozen search page templates you can choose from which illustrate different common use cases. For simplicity of demonstration, I'll just go ahead and copy over the whole bundle. Beyond the sample search pages, the most important content is found in the CSS directory, the images, and of course, the JS directory, which contains the heart of the JavaScript search framework. Once those files are in place, since one of them is an index.html file, I can simply reload my web page and see the basic search configured and ready to go. If we look at the source of that index.html page, we'll see the appropriate includes, the HTML which defines the page, and the initialization code which binds the page to our demo index. For more information about how to link this page to your index and about how to customize functionality from this page and incorporate it into your site, please visit search.coveo.com and check back for more Coveo bite-sized learnings.